This video is totally optional. In it, I'm going to demonstrate some robot programming with very little explanation of what I'm doing. For some viewers, this may be great. It gives them a preview of what to expect and answers the question, what does a robot program look like anyway? For other viewers, this may be too much too soon since it leaves roughly a gazillion questions about what I'm doing unanswered. So, should you watch it? My colleague Janet in the College of Education suggests that you ask yourself this question. What's my preferred style for learning a new board game? If you enjoy getting started right away and learning the nitty gritty details as you go, then you should watch the rest of this video. On the other hand, if you prefer to understand exactly how the game is played before starting, then you might find the remainder of this video more frustrating than enjoyable. So here's the Lego software and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by grabbing a sound brick and putting it here on this line. And I'm going to tell the robot to say, Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Okay. Um, so that's my whole program. Just robots say have a nice day and then quit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my USB cable and plug it into the robot. And then I'm going to download the program and tell the robot to run my program. Okay, so not desperately exciting. Um, it's cool to move the robot. So let's add to my program and I'm going to say Okay, robot, first I want you to say, have a nice day. Then I want you to move forward, and this little arrow tells it to move forward, um, and move forward for one rotation of the wheel. So let me download this program to the robot. Now, since the robot's going to be moving this time, I'm going to unplug the USB. So we expect the robot to say have a nice day, and then move forward one rotation of the wheel. Let's see if it works. There you go, not bad. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is, why don't we have it move again, but this time, instead of moving forward, let's tell it to move backwards. So we're gonna move backwards for one rotation of the wheel. So if we look at our program now, it should say, have a nice day, then it should move forward for one rotation of the wheel and backwards one rotation of the wheel. So of course I have to download this program back to the robot. I plug in the USB, push the download button, robot tells me it's good. So remember it's going to say have a nice day, it's going to move forward and it's going to move backward. Let's see if it works. So the last thing I'm going to do for now is show you an interesting block. This is called the loop block. That means repeat a bunch of times. In this case, I'm going to tell it to repeat, let's see, let's repeat four times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff that we did and drop it into my loop. And again, this is just to give you an idea of what's going on. Don't expect to understand this yet. but. It's going to go around this loop four times. So it's going to do everything in this loop four times. Have a nice day, go forwards, go backwards. Have a nice day, go forwards, go backwards. Have a nice day, go forwards, go backwards. So that's what this program should do. Let's see if it works. First thing I need to do is I need to download it. So I plug my robot back in again. We'll download. And I got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous it's going to fall off this table, but hopefully not. I'll unplug the USB and we'll tell it to go. There you go. So that should give you some kind of an idea of what a robot program is going to look like and where we're going from here. 